uh, just to give you a little perspective, there are 4.2 billion people in the world that have either sent or received a text message. Uh, to put that in perspective, that's about three out of every five humans on Earth. And uh, uh, the market for texting is also huge. Uh, it's a 210 billion market uh, in 2011. And this number is expected to grow to three billion. That's how much phone companies make uh, in texting. In 2011, seven trillion text messages uh, were sent or received. And uh, this started from a small base. In 2003, it was just 300 billion. And uh, in 2011, it's seven trillion and is expected to grow to 12 trillion by 2015. But what is the problem here? What is the problem that we're trying to solve? Yeah, it's a great market. Yeah, we think that it is, texting has seen very little innovation in the last 10 years. Users end up paying a lot of money, not so much in India, but in other countries, paying a lot of money for a service that is essentially free to the carriers. Uh, and it's extremely expensive to send text messages internationally. Just to give you an idea, about 20% of all the revenues of phone companies around the globe come from texting. And that constitutes 40% of their profits. So it is extremely profitable for phone companies because if you look at the amount of data bandwidth these phone companies use in terms of airtime, it is insignificant. It's actually zero cost to them, but they're making a lot of money. And that's where we come in. And we've, uh, over the last uh, year or so, we have been working on a product uh, called Jackster SMS, you know, which is the world's first and only free and open texting application. application. Which means, once you have downloaded this application on your data-enabled phone, you can send a text message to any other mobile phone in the world for free. You don't have to pay any more charges if you've got a data connection. So how do we do it, really? And uh, so here is a slide that shows you, you know, once a user first downloads the application on his or her cellular phone, uh, and hopefully that's a data-enabled phone, you know, and uses our application, which looks just like the native application of the phone. So we've, we've developed this application to run on all the platforms, on Android, on iPhone, on Blackberry, uh, uh, and on the Symbian platform. Uh, once the SMS, the text message is composed, we take it over the data channel to our servers. Our servers then uh, determine if the recipient of this text message is within our network, which means the recipient also has uh, the Jackster SMS app downloaded, or if the recipient is out of our network. If the recipient is within our network, it's very simple. We send it over the data channel to the recipient's phone at really no cost to us, uh, or small and significant cost that of you know, data processing and the bandwidth that is required. Uh, but if the recipient is not within our network, we actually incur the cost of sending this text message out of network. However, with every out of network text message that we send out, we also include a small tagline that you know, this person is using Jackster, and I think you should use it too. Download your app at jackstersms.com. That becomes a viral engine for growth, and it has proved to be tremendously successful. I will uh, share with you, uh, you know, uh, the results. So we did, we, it took us about a year to develop this application. We did, we started a small uh, alpha in the month of uh, October. And then in November, we went live with our beta. We did a little major press conference and release in uh, Mumbai. And the reason we chose India to do this uh, press release and the launch of Jackster SMS was, was twofold. One, the product was completely developed in India. So you know, I wanted people over here to, uh, you know, to, to see what it takes to develop products. While India has done a great job of, uh, uh, of developing the services business, in reality, we have completely failed in the product space. There is no product that is developed in India for the world market. And that's where all of the opportunity is. And if you look at the case of Apple, which is where I started my career, 
uh, with just 8,000 employees, which is one tenth the number of employees of uh, uh, you know an Infosys or a TCS, its market cap is eight times. That means in terms of a total value per employee, it's 80 times more valuable than an Infosys or a Wipro. I mean, it's great. These companies provide uh, tremendous employment over here, but at the end of the day, it is a labor arbitrage that they're operating on, which is you hire people at a certain uh, price over here, and you sell their services at a much higher price uh, elsewhere, you know, in the US or the UK or the Middle East. Whereas if uh, the software industry in India is to truly develop, we've got to break through and create world-class products. And we have the opportunity to do that, luckily, because the mobile space today in India, India is the second largest mobile market in the world. So we have, obviously, the talent, development talent. We have the audience. You know, we have the, uh, the market to test our concepts out. And uh, I think this is right for innovation. And we just need a few people to show us the way. And once you have a few successful entrepreneurs, I think that will open the doors for thousands of others to come and, and develop great products, whether it's on the internet or it's on, uh, you know, uh, on the mobile platform. And the beauty of technology truly, truly is that the mobile phone is the same for anyone. You know, it's the same iPhone you use over here as you use in the US. Um, and pretty much at least for the western part of the world, we're, you know, we're very familiar with English as well. Uh, of course, we have to port all of our applications you know, to Chinese or, or to some of the local languages uh, for the European market. So coming back to Jaxter SMS, how is it unique? One is you can send a text message once you've downloaded the application to any number in the world, not just another user of Jaxter SMS. Second is you get to keep your own number. You don't, it's not a new number that you use to send this out of network text message. And third, it's free, whether domestically or internationally. Uh, benefits are you never have to pay a single paisa again for texting. You can send unlimited messages from your phone, send messages to any country, and obviously it runs on all the platforms iPhone, Android, Blackberry, or J2M. So we think Jaxter SMS will do to texting, uh, what Hotmail did really to, to email, it's just 15 years later. And it's a 100% Indian developed product. Now I'm gonna take a step back and talk to you about what it takes to succeed in the entrepreneurial space. There are really four things that an entrepreneur, first of all, an entrepreneur gets an idea.